Well, hello, friends. We'll go ahead and get started. I'm just um, sitting here for waiting for my daughter finish to, to finish school so I can pick her up. I just wanted to give you another update. It's my last week in a nurse midwifery school. Yay! I'm so excited. I'm getting ready um, for my exit exam. So it's a big um, final exam. Um, it's going to happen next Monday. And then hopefully I will pass it. And if I do, then I graduate and I can pass my nurse midwifery board's exams and start working. I already had two interviews for uh, nurse midwifery jobs. I did not get an offer yet, but um, in both cases it looks pretty um, positive. Um, they are just still in the process of reviewing other applications, so I will... Um, probably hear from them in another week or two. Um, but I'm not in a big hurry anyway because I don't have my graduation paperwork and my board exam is done yet. So that's where I am. Uh, uh, this Friday I will have my last call shift at the hospital. And I just wanted to let you know I do have all my hours um, minimum hour requirements met, but I want to get as much experiences as possible. So I will still go in for a call shift on Friday, and then I have another office day uh, next Tuesday. And again, I'm just doing it because I want to get as many experiences um, and situations that I can get under my belt before I graduate. So when I go on my own, hopefully I'll be confident uh, Doing, um, managing patients on my own and and don't feel like I've been uh, like I don't know what I'm doing that's what I'm trying to say so anyway in, in my office uh, uh, in the clinicals when I do them at the office I feel pretty confident with what I'm doing and <clears throat> I've been pretty much on my own unless the patient requests no student or or there is any special circumstances that midwife has to be there. Um, I do go in and see the patients on my own and do all the discussions and that, and sometimes my preceptor will go in after me just to say hi and see if they have any additional questions or if it's a new OB, just to kind of introduce herself and let them know that she she'll be their midwife. But I'll be I was doing the last probably month. I've been mostly on my own, uh, doing the stuff, all kinds of uh, visit visits with patients like um, GYN visits, normal women's health, um, normal. Return OB appointments, new OB appointments, uh, annual checkups, and that, um, and also some problem like minor GYN problems. I um, just recently started doing more complex, I guess. They're really not complex, complex because of course we're nurse midwives, and if it's really um, big issue, the patient should be seeing a doctor, so, but, but I've seen some, like, um, recurrent UTI problems and uh, trick that was resistant to treatment for few um, treatments on the pregnant patient, so that was an interesting case. So that's where I am now. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know um, if you are in a similar situation. What are you doing to prepare for exams? I've been reading, reviewing the um, uh, Varney's Midwifery uh, textbook and the review 
for women's health in nurse midwife review um, textbook. I, I forgot who the author is, it, but it's, the current edition is green. It used to be um, red or purple book, but now the current edition is green, but it's the best one for midwives. So that's what I'm doing, and I also am watching some YouTube videos on uh, like educational from medical doctors and that uh, to review the topics that I feel I am not so strong in. So that's where I am. That's pretty much it. I I will update you soon. I hope I do pass my exam. I feel pretty confident, but you know, of course, it's in a it's a test, so we probably all have some sort of test anxiety on one level or another. So I'm still a little bit worried. It's not like, uh, okay, I can do it. I'm not going to review or anything. So I do, I am still anxious and hoping to pass. So let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you are doing. Uh, Thanks for watching.